Welcome back in everyone at 1217 a cloudier look over Columbia taking that check downtown. We are going to be holding steady with a lot of temperatures right now that are finally making their way into the lower 70s while some of you still are trending just a little bit cooler. But here we go between Lexington Columbia both again very very similar marks looking over towards Newberry Saluda seeing still upper 60s over towards Manning as well for taking more of an easterly check but up towards Camden got 73 there Orangeburg now making that jump over the 70 degree mark clouds being pesky trying to hang on, but there will be a bit of a shake up to that cloud layer. Just got to give it a couple hours into the afternoon as I figured it would be. This is just going to be something due to lingering low pressure well up towards the north and east. But of course, even though it's getting further away, it's still hanging around, holding steady with some moisture in our atmosphere. It's not enough for rain, but clouds, yes, aren't going to be going away into the week and will be a bit even more so pesky tomorrow and Friday with the mugginess, with the rain chances. These, though, are still on the lower end of the spectrum. I'm not even going with any rain chances for the rest of the day. Most of that was for the early morning hours of this Wednesday. And now going forward, they'll try to return, but in just a very, very spotty sense. Take this check down. Go between Thursday, Friday and Saturday, which I have actually dropped back the rain chance again. We're looking to see a bit of dryness trying to forge on ahead. So yes, you see that spike with the rain chances between now and tomorrow, but all those days it's still just 20%. It's going to be very much in the way of isolated, not impressive. A few little storm chances here and there, but that's going to be about it. You're just going to have to be if anything actually pans out more of an unlucky spot where a couple storms could try to form getting into the weekend. Right now we see things going on though in the way of partial sunshine breaking out looking to see a nicer second half this afternoon as high temperatures approach 80 degrees. Pretty nice day. Now we go on to Thursday a little bit more in the way of clouds are shifting in here. Wind pattern in favor of a little bit more moisture here a bit more in the way of cloudier skies. We're going to see at some different levels of the atmosphere so that will work to block out some sun tomorrow. Still could see highs near 80 though easily and then we go on to Friday where once more we do it again. Clouds are going to hang around a few bits of precipitation. That's about it. It's a very consistent pattern as we're still used to seeing this time of the year. Of course, getting away from that weekend where it was cool, it was rainy. Now we're working to see an overall drier work and even, of course, school week for some couple schools still in session. Going on to the rest of this week, we're working to see some of that sun trying to break out again later into Friday, and I'm really hopeful we could see a little bit of that into the weekend. Now for today, interesting world day, we celebrate the parrot. This, of course, a gorgeous bird, not of course just celebrating the beauty, but also conservation efforts of parrots as well. Going into our forecast again, we got 81 degrees for the middle of your week. The cloud cover being annoying, but it's going to work to break up as we get later into this one. Some limited clearing late overnight as we actually work to see a little bit of breaks of clearing towards the evening and then more clouds shift in late getting into early tomorrow morning. That's why we see, of course, for that first alert 10 day forecast more in the way of cloudier skies all the way getting into the start of the weekend. Still rain chances remaining unimpressive, but also thanks in part to those clouds, temperatures will be remaining below average average high this time of the year, typically around 87.